hello guys uh, welcome back in this video let's have a look on the spot healing brush tool so if you go to the toolbox here we have spot healing brush so the keyboard shortcut to access spot healing brush is J so you got the spot healing brush which is stopping in the list so if you want to go for the next tool you need to press shift J and it when you press continuously it cycles through all these tools so we are talking about spot healing brush which is the first tool in the list okay so spot heal, uh, healing brush is a very magical tool when it comes to heal things now when i'm talking about healing what does that mean if you could see here the lady has all that uh, pimples on this cheeks and uh, you could able to see some sort of blemishes also so i take this spot healing brush tool and then just click on that pimple and then that pimple is gone okay so just need to click and then there's no pimple there so you can use it for all the pimples it just heals everything now here there's a problem it's actually if you could carefully see when I'm healing this it's not healing but bringing some other pimple from here so proximity ma match is the feature which I have picked so it is actually uh, sourcing some information randomly on different part of that image which is as close as this area and it is bringing that pixel so this time it has not done because it has randomized this time okay so that's good for us to uh, see how pro proximity match is doing the job so if I click this it is searching any close closely or um, almost same sort of patch somewhere and it will bring that and put it there and it blends with that background okay so I'll try to show you how uh, this will work actually so I have got some different images with me and uh, to explore that I've uh, collected this now if you could uh, see this picture I have done some work so I just want to fix things so I, I took this spot healing brush tool okay and I'm just clicking here so there are three options one is content aware create texture proximity match so I'm going for content aware and I'm just clicking there and then you should able to see it has nicely uh, healed that area and uh, you see no issue with that particular patch okay so I just uh, do it this place and this place also so what it is actually doing content aware is I'll try to explain you so if you just select this uh, rectangular marquee tool and then drag it and then if you could see in the right click fill area you have content aware so which is the same content aware we have so when I click that what it does is it borrows some information from here patches it borrows information here patches so it does and uh, when you actually drag it in a complex area like this so here it borrows information from there and uh, here's red flowers and its border is again red flowers there so if I just go to the fill and then use content aware it tries to sort of you know um, match this area with this this area with this and uh, it's trying to understand their borders in all areas okay and then it is trying to fill something in the center which has no seam issue in in the border of that selection so if i just duplicate the lasso area the, the selection area borders are very seamlessly patched so content aware um, has to understand its neighboring information and match with them so content aware we what we have here so i'll go back to the original so when i select this brush again I'm increasing the brush size so when I click that it heals the circle inside information is healed 
based on the circle's outside information. So I uh, make a hard brush and then click there. So you should able to see at the flower area it generally tries to match that information so uh, it's it's not really doing a great job when it comes to <coughs> healing it so when i choose proximity match it does not do like that what it really does is it tries to uh, see any patch which is as close as this area and borrows that okay so sometimes these tools doesn't work magic for you because uh, the way these tools work are very unique so let me uh, choose a different image here so if you could see there's a flag and i'm going to select this area so try content aware so you should able to see there is a blur going on I, I don't see this is a perfect heal at all and then let me choose the proximity match and it does a job now you know what this proximity match has done it has sourced that information okay maybe you can find if you search it somewhere in the picture and that information has been brought from somewhere and then stamped here so it searches for you okay let's say if i I'll, if i just click this area it brings the information in the center from something somewhere else so the flag is not gone in the content aware it's blurring out when i took a big brush and then when i choose proximity match it does a decent job so um, here I can use proximity match again the brush size and all that is really matter and then here if I use the proximity match uh, it looks a patch you can try content aware that does a decent job so uh, these two are very important things where in spot healing brush you can um, explore that uh, sometimes you know the tool better but things don't work for you okay so you have uh, this create texture this is definitely uh, not a uh, choice of mine let me choose uh, this on maybe this image and if I just uh, click that area so you should able to see it has created some noisy texture it has not at all healed this complex pattern there okay and uh, it is recommended for patching up something more clear skies okay uh, very flat uh, uh, areas it's it's suitable for that i got this picture i'll just uh, stamp it here so you should able to see uh, create texture has done some decent job i have to click it several times let me try content aware and then remove this bird here that's gone content aware has done a, a job let me try proximity match it has done a good job create texture uh, it is struggling to do that um, there is one thing uh, in proximity match is diffusion so diffusion one uh, let me try to show you at this circles which I have manually painted so when I am keeping this brush in the edge of this red circle and then healing it then you should able to see that um, total patch is very hard okay but when I increase the diffusion way high and then click that the red starts bleeding inside so that is diffusion there so it is very good when you want to blend things naturally with the surroundings you can take high diffusion values and that does a good job for you so diffusion is available in proximity match in content aware we don't have that um, diffusion option okay so you have a uh, brush sizes which can be again just like your photoshop brush size you can increase or decrease the brush sizes with uh, open and close brackets you have blending modes uh, you can choose blending modes there um, 
so if you could see the patch is becoming more dark and dark when i'm blending it like that so uh, if you understand the complexities of colors um, you can try exploring the blending modes if not uh, stay with normal mode only okay so you have sampled all layers when you have uh, um, the artwork in multiple layers and you want to ignore uh, the that you don't want to work on single layer or you want to work as a composited image then you can uh, switch on sample all layers then you have uh, pen pressure uh, working for the size of the brush here 